All right, this is number six from 2010 Form B Calc BC exam. It's a series question, and uh, it's kind of a beast. All right, first part is we just need to find the radius of convergence, which is not bad. Um, so there's our function or our series. And so we do the limit as n approaches infinity of the n plus first term. So we're going to replace every n that we see up there with an n plus 1. So negative 1 to the n plus 1, 2 to the n plus 1, x to the n plus 1, all over n, because n plus 1 minus 1 is n. And then it's divided by a sub n, but I always multiply by the reciprocal of a sub n, because it's a little faster. So times n minus 1 over negative 1 to the n, 2 to the n, x to the n. All right, um, so we do all the canceling that we can, and we're going to end up with this. There's a 2, an n minus 1, an x in the numerator, and then just an n in the denominator. Um, so we take that limit, and we end up with 2 times the absolute value of x. We know that that needs to be less than 1 for it to converge on the uh, open interval. So the open interval is between negative 1 half and 1 half, but we're asked for the actual interval, so... We have to let x be negative one half. We substitute it back into the original series. Um, everywhere you see an x, you're going to replace it with negative one half. Now uh, we get two to the n times uh, negative one half to the n is two times negative one half to the n, or negative one to the n. Um, so now we have uh, negative one to the n times negative one to the n, which is negative one to the two n. Two n is always even, so that's just really one. So we have this, and that's definitely a divergent series. That's the harmonic series. Um, so the next thing we want to do is substitute x equals 1 half. And that gives us uh, negative 1 to the n, 2 to the n, 1 half to the n over n minus 1. And then 2 to the n times 1 half to the n is just 1 to the n, uh, which is just always 1. Um, so we end up with this, and that converges by alternating series test. So now we want to state the interval of convergence and the interval of convergence does not include negative one half, so it's just less than, but it does include one half, so it's less than or equal to. And that's our interval of convergence. All right, the next part is uh, going to be a lot of symbol manipulation. So we want to show that this is true for the given function, um, y equals f of x, where that's the series we've been working with. So y is actually equal to this. Um, you can see it's really hard for me to write n equals all the time at the bottom of this summation, so I'm just going to write the little 2 there. Um, so I'm going to take the derivative of this, and it becomes a sum from 2 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, 2 to the n, and then by the power rule, n x to the n minus 1, and then all over n minus 1. Um, it still starts at 2 because uh, the first term of the original thing was not a constant. I mean, I, I guess you could start at 2 no matter what, but... Um, that's y in particular. So now I need to do x times y prime. So I'm literally going to take the thing I just got and multiply everything by x, but really that doesn't have much impact other than, uh, so negative 1 to the n, 2 to the n, x to the n minus 1 times x is just x to the n, um, and then there's still that n over n minus 1. Uh, the problem tells me I'm supposed to do this, x times y prime minus y, so I'm just going to write these summations. And uh, hopefully something good is going to happen because uh, right now, you know, you might be feeling sort of pessimistic about your odds on this. Um, all right, there's no way I'm going to fit this here. So what I'm going to do is uh, rewrite it. Do, do, do. Sorry to be wasting your time, but uh, it's going to pay dividends. All right, so here we go. Um, what we're going to do is factor... Uh, they got a lot of things in common, so uh, they they both have the same bounds. That's why we're allowed to do it. So 2 to infinity, um, negative 1 to the n, because both of them have a negative 1 to the n, as you can see. Uh, 2 to the n, because both of them have a 2 to the n. Uh, x to the n, because both of them have that. And then they're both over n minus 1. All right, so now let's go through and see the things that we didn't factor out. Well, uh, I'm sorry, let me underline those. All right, in the first one, there's an n, and then there's a minus, and then we factored everything out of the uh, of just the y, so all that's left is a 1. All right, but that's useful because now what we can do is cancel those, 
and we're left with this. And that's exactly what we were hoping would happen. So that's a geometric series with a um, first term. You take n equals 2 and you plug it in, so you get negative 1 squared, which is 1, 2 squared, which is 4x squared, so 4x squared. And then a common ratio of negative 1 times 2 times x, or negative 2x. So we know that that has a sum, which is the first term, over 1 minus the ratio. And we can simplify that. And that's exactly what we were supposed to show um, this thing equals. Um, and then that'll converge whenever the absolute value of r is less than 1, which means that the absolute value of x is less than 1 half. Um, and that's the problem, and it's a lot of work, but uh, none of it was particularly terrible. It's just, you know, you got to dive in and just work with the symbols. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.